Welcome to the Revit demonstrational video for the Lubrizol Corporation's CPVC piping and fittings content. The purpose of this video is to explain how the Lubrizol 3D plumbing content is to be implemented in Revit. I will be using the FlowGuard Gold products for this demo. The Revit fittings have been designed to work only for the sizes that are commercially available from FlowGuard Gold manufacturers. Warnings or errors will occur when working with other sizes. Please contact Lubrizol at 1-855-735-1431 or visit lubrizolcpvc.com for more information. Have your current project open. For this demo's purpose, I will be using a very simple project with some plumbing fixtures already placed. The advantage of Autodesk Seek is that it is included as a search option in Revit. Go to the Insert tab and type Lubrizol within the search field on the Autodesk Seek section. This will take us to the Lubrizol page on the Seek website. Download the FlowGuard Gold Zip file. Save the files in your local drive or network. Select all the CSV files and copy. Navigate to the following folder, C, Program Data, Autodesk, RVT 2013, Lookup Tables, Pipe. Select different Revit version if not using 2013. Paste the files. Go back to the folder where you saved your files and open the RVT file. Assistant family is anything that cannot exist without a project. For example, walls, roofs, floors, ceilings, ducts, pipes, and wires. System families can act as a host for component families, Lubrizol's pipe fittings in this case. This is why these products are provided in an RVT file rather than individual components. System families are driven by hard-coded files that allow us to automatically generate layouts instead of attaching pipes and fittings piece by piece like building blocks. In order to use the Lubrizol system and component families in our current project, we need to copy and paste them between the two projects or Transfer Project Standards in the Manage tab. For this demo, I will be copying and pasting them. Select all the visible components in the Flow Guard Gold project and copy. Paste them into your open projects. Delete them as soon as they are pasted because they will already be available in the project browser. The Flow Guard Gold Pipe Type is preloaded with the needed fittings in order to generate layouts automatically. The reducing the fittings will need to be changed manually as required once a layout has been created. Here's a way to create a piping system in Revit. This will show how the auto route is generated and how the pipes will be applied with the needed diameter. I'll start by selecting the plumbing fixture family, the water closet in this case. I'll click Piping in the Create Systems group under Modified Plumbing Fixtures tab. Select a domestic cold water system. You can give it a unique system name, however, for this demonstration, I will leave the default name. This will show the water closet surrounded by dashed lines. This means that it is part of a system now. Next, I'm going to click Edit System in the System Tools group. Edit System will allow me to add the other components, sink and tub, to the system using Add to System and selecting the two components. It also allows me to assign a mechanical equipment, water heater, by clicking Select Equipment and selecting the water heater from the drop-down menu. Now that I've selected my system components, I will click Finish Editing System. I will now generate a piping layout by selecting the water closet and by clicking on the Generate Layout tool. This will give us different solutions. Select one. Now we need to make sure this layout will use the FlowGuard Gold Pipe, so click on the Settings button to select that pipe. I must select the FlowGuard Gold Pipe in both Main and Branch, then click OK. After the 3D piping generates, let's zoom in to see the pipe sizes and fittings used. Notice the layout is not using reducing tees. Here's where they are changed manually. Select the desired tee and swap it for the reducing tee available in the Type Selector drop-down. Notice how it automatically changes in size. Let me show you what would happen if I changed a pipe to an unavailable size. The error appeared because the fittings are not supposed to work with the size selected. 
This is the expected result and I would need to double check this product's information to confirm all the diameters used in the system, especially in the connections, are correct. I will create a domestic hot water system with the same process. This will allow me to show the interference check process. In a domestic hot water system, we can see that some pipes are actually intersecting with the cold water system. In this example, it's easy to identify the interferences, but in a large project where there would be walls, ceilings, ducts, etc., it'd be very difficult to see all the interferences. This is where we can use the interference check tool in Revit. In the ribbon, click on Collaborate and then on Interference Check. I'm going to run Interference Check on the drop-down options. Now that the Interference Check window is open, I'm going to select the Pipes option in both columns to run the check and find out which pipes need to be moved or rerouted. A list of pipes appears. Click on any of the pipes in the dialog and see how the actual pipe highlights in the model. I see that the pipes are at the same height. I can fix them by changing the dimension in the offset on the ribbon. I'll change it to 8 feet in this case. Then I'm going to click Refresh in the Interference Report and see that no interferences came up this time. All the system's pipes that were at the original height of 9 feet were automatically changed to 8 feet, fixing all other interferences. A schedule in Revit is another way to see the items within the project, or the properties of the elements in the project in a table-like format. If there are changes to a family's properties, the schedule is automatically updated or vice versa. I will now go through creating a pipe fitting schedule. Schedules are under the View tab in the Create group. I'll click on Schedule Quantities to create a new schedule. Within the New Schedule window, select the Pipe Fittings category. This will open a new window, Schedule Properties, where I will select the fields I want to show in the schedule. I can now select the headers I want for the schedule table and organize them as needed. A new schedule has been generated containing the identity data and diameter dimensions used in the entire project. I have shown you how to download and use Lubrizol CPVC piping and fittings in Revit. This video is not intended to be used as a Revit training source, but more as a suggested way to use these components. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hope it can be of some help to you. Please contact Lubrizol at 1-855-735 1431 or visit lubrizolcpvc.com for more information.